hi everyone in this video tutorial I will show you guys how to set up split delivery with Google workspace and mail account so the reason you need split delivery with Google workspace or any other mail platform to reduce your cost or separate your user base how how can you achieve that or why you require to have that so let's say you have five user in Google workspace and you are paying seven dollar per each per user so which cost seven multiple five that's thirty five dollar per month so now if you like to have uh, let's say ten more user but they're not necessarily that important to have Google workspace but still if they have their own uh, branded mailbox that would be something um, something you you want so that case uh, you need to have uh, split delivery so that you can host their mailbox on cheap platform or maybe uh, your own platform where you can host everything pretty much uh, free so this is what we are gonna trying to configure in here so in our last video we configured Google workspace relay and with the workspace relay the mail will be uh, sending I mean will be routed through Google workspace and you you will not be using your your own mail server IP address so now if you're able to set up the split delivery in that case you are pretty much configured your mail server technically like Google workspace but managed by yourself so let's get started uh, so since we have mail cloud server in here uh, as you can see uh, in mail I'm gonna just close all these tabs so here uh, we are in Google workspace right now and uh, we are we configured the domain with Google workspace as well as uh, uh, mail cloud server itself so now what we're gonna do we're gonna send a mail test from our any of our mail system maybe gmail to this uh, one of this mailbox in here so let's see if there are any mailbox in here so you can see here we have supported smtplab.xyz and inside uh, Google workspace uh, if we check the user list you can see aman at smtplab.xyz so there's not no other users so let's go to the gmail and let's try to send a mail so we are in gmail we're gonna come we're gonna send a test mail aman uh, no it's gonna be support at smtplab.xyz test version one test version one so this mail doesn't exist in google workspace but this account exists on mail town so we haven't configured anything we're just trying to see if this mail is works without setting up anything so if we send we're gonna see the bounce reply that there's nothing exists with that um, that mail mail address so it's gonna take a minute or two to see the bounce so you yeah you can see we already got the mail that your mail wasn't delivered to that particular mailbox so now we're gonna set up the SMTP uh, I mean split uh, split mail routing so here we're gonna go to the Google workspace and then in app then gmail so we are inside gmail settings so we're gonna click on host first so i assume that you will you will have working mail server it doesn't has to be mail cover or, or anything you can use for that one so since we're using mail cover, we're gonna just continue with this one so add route here you're gonna type mail cow server name uh, so let's say mail cow So 
so single host uh, if you have multiple IP address for mail cow you can put there so since we have single host we're gonna just put mail cow server host address which is basically this one if you follow our previous video you will get the idea so here we're gonna put this IP address and for ports we're gonna use 587 not 25 or 468 you cannot use 468 so I'm gonna use 587 so now let's say perform MX lookup host test TLS first so your mail server must have a TL I mean SSL certificate in order to pass that so it's gonna take some time to pass so you can see it's passed so that means we can save it so save so the record is now I mean the host record is created we're gonna now set up the additional record so that whenever a user is not exist in here it should look for uh, the other mail server to see if there is uh, there is that user is located or not so now let's go to the whole gmail settings again then we're gonna go to the routing then we're gonna we're gonna create we're gonna click on configure routing there is no routing right now so I'm gonna configure routing rules so in routing rules so we can uh, you can give any name so for better understanding I'm gonna say split delivery then here uh, what kind of message should be split delivery so obviously it should be inbound message only so it could be inbound from another organization not your domains and it could be also your domains as well so let's say you are internally trying to send mail it's going to be also even in fact so <clears throat> then here we're going to add as gm original header you can also add the uh, fishy uh, I mean spam score header as well so I'm gonna add that as well then in root we're gonna change the root also read out spam uh, that you can do because if you like to I mean we just like to send all traffic to that particular mail server uh, if the user is not existing Google workspace so here normal routing we're gonna select the our hosted mail server which is mail cow so now we're gonna scroll down all the way to bottom we're gonna select required TLS uh, we like to ensure uh, encrypted protocol actually um, then in you're gonna click show options then it's gonna be affected for everyone so if you select this one catch all that means uh, if you have five domain the, the rule will be set for all of these five domain it's not going to be particularly for one domain so you have to make sure that what you are doing in here or if you like to set a number of user you can do from here so for now I'm gonna select uh, for all domains and uh, I mean all domains is effective for this rule so click on save uh, I'm gonna show you if uh, I mean if you just like to apply it for only particular domain let's say you have uh, uh, you have a domain you have multiple domain let's say example a.com or example b.com and you just like to set up it for only example a that case uh, you can actually specify uh, the the rules actually uh, so it should be look like this one so it would be catch-all first of all but in addition we're gonna select only specific domain name then like only effect specific envelope recipients so here 
uh, if you select that single email address instead of single you can just put pattern match and you can just put your domain name in here so for an example if we just only like to effect for this domain in here so smtp lab dot xyz so when you're gonna put that if you're not seeing any error that means which is fine so you can further test it like let's say if we like to send support at smtp lab dot uh, xyz so it's a match so that means this address is under this condition so we're gonna click save so routing is now saved so let's go to the settings i mean gmail now we're gonna send a mail another mail so support at smtplab.xyz now if we like to send a test mail let's say test v2 test v2 now if we click send now message is sent so let's wait a couple of seconds So if the routing is effect in effect, it should be sent now. So let's go check our on-premises mail server. It's not yet delivered, so maybe we need to wait. Okay, you can see the mail is arrived. So it's from SMTP lab. So if we just check the header so let's check the original header you able to see the mail is came from Google IPv6 then finally to the SMTP lab I mean the custom mail server so this is how you can host some of your mailbox in Google workspace and some of your mailbox in uh, in your own mail server and you can use this mail to send cold mailing uh, bulk mailing here and if you configure the SMTP relay technically you are setting everything on Google workspace but you actually not paying for those users and if I reply that user from here like this this user uh, uh, if I reply this user uh, I think it should also work vice versa because the SMTP relay is configured in last video as you can see here uh, let's say mail is, uh, yeah, mail is sent so as you can see routing rules is configured so mail should be sent back here again I hope it should be here could take 10 or 20 seconds because it's routed through relay And we have other VG tutorial which is configured with Zoho. So if you are using Zoho and Google Workspace combination, you can follow that video. So mail should be arrived within a couple of minutes if everything is all right. So this is how you wanna configure your mail system. And if you like this video, we expect to have your comment and let know your thoughts. Thanks for watching this video.